Myers? I built it long to my mechanic. Could you give me all the info for what's all in here? It's four dropping Hertz 15s, Alpha 15s, a sound digital power 20K, and a bunch of limitless lithium. All right. What is it doing the meter? No idea. No idea? We literally threw it together right before we came this weekend. Oh, okay. Nice. Who's the owner? What's his name? Uh, Nick. Gray hoodie Nick? over there. Okay. Sounds good. What is it tuned to? No idea. No idea. I have no clue. Literally. No clue. Okay. It was a center port and turned it into a driver's side port like two days ago. I see. So, I can tell. Yeah. Yeah. It literally just took some one by four awesome. and called it a port. Oh, okay. <laughs> can I get a demo? Sure. Come on over. Can I check out the amps in the back? Honestly, no. No. <laughs> no. Uh, I'm keeping the back closed over the weekend. Oh, uh, okay.
Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Jacob Barrow. I do car audio videos every single day. Um, my goal is to bring you different variety of systems from systems walled like this to single builds and budget builds and all types of builds of all sizes. So if y'all enjoyed this video today, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Let the uh, owner know in the comments what you think as well as me. Any questions y'all have car audio related, feel free to ask and I'll be able to help if I can or someone else. And subscribe if you haven't. So um, this build today was drop and hurt subs, um, four of them, and a big fourth order wall, and sound digital amps, giving pretty good hair tricks as you all saw with the door open. So I got a couple of topics to talk about. Before that, I'm going to do the shout out. Today's shout out is going to go to Jeremy Maxwell. He said, love your videos, Jacob Varl. Learning a lot. Thank you. Give me a shout out, man, please. I have a couple of Walmart speakers in a box I got off Craigslist in a cheap Kenwood deck I got from Fry's five years ago. I have a stock alternator, battery, and a battery cable wires I found laying around the shop. Get her done. So, yeah, man. Appreciate it. Appreciate you watching there, Jeremy. Uh, thanks for the kind comment for always watching. Glad to help, and uh, there's your shout-out for the day. If y'all ever want a shout-out, just say you want some shout-out with some feedback in the comments like he just did, and just give you a shout-out and give you some privilege for uh, watching. Appreciate you watching. Nice channel. Um, appreciate you being a subscriber. So I got three topics to discuss maybe two depending on time first thing is port adjustment for walls first off before i say that the reason i'm bringing this up is the owner or the guy that helped build this said that he had a wall port in the middle and if you notice in the box he had the port blocked off and it used to be singer uh, center port now he has driver port so it's just one curiosity if you're going in a wall build or you're building a wall or just a fourth order you can adjust the port maybe is instead of going driver port you can do center or you can test driver port instead of center so you can alternate just by two by fours and some wood literally just shift over or add some wood on the left side or right side or in the middle and adjust it just that simple using two by fours birch or mdf plywood etc um you really can use anything to block a port or build a port but obviously you want to do testing and make it stable and be able to uh, be efficient but you can always do testing and do that um, it may not be your preference of what, what would be best until you test it to see. Um, second thing goes to relating to port. So why driver port over center or why center over driver? Talked about this numerous times. Search on my channel port or driver port if you want to compare driver versus center. I made a little demonstration with my build a couple of years ago. But in general, driver port is going to be a little more windy, demo friendly on the driver side. You're gonna have more air velocity for hair tricks on the driver's side. That's why it does better hair tricks door open on the driver's side, as well as it's gonna be louder on the meter, especially when the window's up on the passenger side. The reason for is how cabin space reacts with the base waves in uh, the enclosure. You have more pressure on the opposite side of the port. So wherever your port is, is the opposite side of that port is where the most pressure is. Being in the center, you're going to have pressure equalized across the cabin, depending on how the cabin is. So you're going to have a lot more demo friendly. That's why they say demo friendly center port, because your pressure is equalized. Um, then there's people that do top port, bottom port, um, side port, even passenger port. Not very many do that. So many variations, different options you can do. So since I have a little more time, I figure I'd do, all right, invert versus regular. Common sense, I say this a lot, just invert for cooling, invert for more space to optimize, or maybe you want a little bit more of a sealed section or more space in your box if you're just a single sub or however many box subs you have in your box, four fifteens, whatever. Invert versus regular is going to give you more space. It's not going to give you a different reactant for um, sound outside of how your box reacts on the space you have in there. Um, cooling wise in fourth orders like this one, it'll give you better cooling though for sure. Airflow. That's all I got for the day. Baffling a little too long. I'm sorry. Uh, Jacob Vile, this is out. Appreciate y'all watching. Till tomorrow.